McCormick's Creek State Park is 60 miles southwest of Indianapolis and 120 miles northwest of Louisville. The White River forms the western boundary of the park. McCormick's Creek State Park is the first established state park in Indiana back in 1916. This park offers over 10 miles of hiking trails, including hikes through a limestone canyon along McCormick's Creek with waterfalls and along the White River. It has a fire tower, nature center, swimming pool, rec center, and tennis courts. There's also the Wolf Cave, which you can explore. The Canyon Inn and restaurant are very nice and rustic that offers all three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's cabin rentals, a saddle barn with guided horse trail rides. The campground has 189 electric sites and 32 primitive sites, along with group and youth camping. If you're interested in site-by-site -site video footage of the campground, check out our Pick Your Site video from McCormick's Creek on our channel. We would call today a huge success. Um, it was kind of a short camping trip. We mm -hmm. rolled in way later than we should have Friday night due to many obstacles. It was a really hot day and the falls and creek were so refreshing. After hiking down to the falls, we splashed around in the creek a little bit and just had a blast. I am just about as close to being underneath these falls as you can get. So I was quite nervous to go into Wolf Cave. She got farther than I did. <laughs> yeah, but it ended up being so much fun. Hey, head, hey. Of, head of Trail 5 here at McCormick's Creek. This is the Wolf Cave Trail. Uh, it's a two mile hike, should be fun. Getting ready to go spelunking. Trail 5 was actually a pretty easy hike through the woods, and I'm guessing it was about a half a mile to get from the start of the trail to the cave. Katie, Jack, wait. Katie, turn. Woohoo! Nicely done. The entrance of the cave behind me, not gonna lie makes me a little bit nervous. For more footage of the cave, check out our previously uploaded video, Exploring Wolf oh my Cave. Goodness. Oh. All right, this is the exit of Wolf Cave. So where you have to crawl, Jack, is it super gross? Is that the only spot you have to crawl? Oh, yeah, yeah. Four. but then there's also one spot you have to cross the puddle. Honestly. We are getting ready to ride horses here at McCormick's Creek. This will be my first time on a horse in about 20 years. Look how pretty that one is. <laughs> they are big and pretty. Should be a fun ride. Yeah. So yeah, horseback riding. We are feeling it. I felt like I had two dislocated hips by the end of the ride. We had some pretty big horses. Um, very wide as well. <laughs> so after I gave birth to a horse today, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Which unfortunately we did not get on video, but my first attempt at getting on this like Massive. baby brother of a Clydesdale horse. I mean, they looked at me and they said, Big we're going to give you that horse. one. <laughs> so this horse stood like his back, not his head, his back was over my head. I feel like maybe not, but it, it was, was close. It was, it was like six feet horse. tall. Um, and the first time I went to get up on it, the saddle just slid off. <laughs>
I'm so glad I got that little video. Right. <laughs> we are on the trail. What's your horse's name, baby? Roman. Roman just tried to tell Matt who's boss. <laughs> the guided ride took about 45 minutes through the forest. Um, it was great to see other parts of the forest in addition to the hiking trails. Trail 4 takes you to the fire tower. We are here at the base of the fire tower at McCormick's Creek. Uh, it looks like it's going to be quite the chaunt to get up there, but uh, we're excited. We'll give you some views from the top. Yep. The kids have already started. Woo! made it to the top of the fire tower. It was quite the hike. Yep, I'm sweating. Whew. We might be able to there's, get uh, Lindsay. Look how far the <laughs> ground is. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's not bad. There's a the wasp here. I thought you could see something though. Well, I think you'll be able to see more when it's uh, fall and like the leaves are off the trees. You'll be yeah, able to see a lot pretty. further. This is a hot box. Okay. But it is very hot in here. I call this. Go down backwards if you have to. Oh, I probably will have to. Man, this metal is hot. I know. I mean, we yeah. are right yeah, up here in the tippy top oh my gosh. trees. I just looked out the window. We're in Katie I'm about to pass out. wants us to show it's, you this spider and it's lunch. Or it's dinner time. Gross. But uh, yeah. Yeah, mom, you're better off going in backwards. That's. Well, dad'll have to go where first. Where we're at. Mom and dad are. Mom and Jack are definitely sick. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make it? Yeah, I'm like. Jack's heights. already on his way down. Yeah, heights are. I can stay up here all night. Hard for me. Jack, look up and give us a wave. Oh, that's not so bad. I can look over the edge. Me too. It really, from here, it doesn't look that high. But then when you look at the top of that pine tree that we're above, it makes it look a bit higher. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. I need to get out of this hotness, and I need you to go first. Oh, I'm so go that first. when I back down, you can hold your rear. Hold my butt. We did it. We made it. I'm going to take you down the stairs so you guys can see what we're dealing with. Uh, but first, we're going to do a quick photo shoot with uh, me and the baby cakes. Oh my like gosh. It. Okay, I'm going down. I wish we were just being dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I am so scared of heights. I'm so scared of heights. But I don't, like, I have this, I guess, philosophy that I don't ever want anxiety to prevent me from doing something that could be really cool and that I could love. It's now, called FOMO. <laughs> well, maybe. But I just, I don't want to let fear of heights or whatever keep me from a cool experience. And in my mind, I know that we're probably safe. I mean, structurally, lots of people climb this every year but it's like my my body takes over. And <laughs> if I look down, I start to get dizzy. Um, I can't even control like the sweating and my heart racing. It's just like a physiological response to heights. But like, there's so many things that are so cool when you go and travel and do these kinds of things that I'm not gonna let it stop me. So I might pass out, but I will have memories to be made. <laughs> All right, she is making her way down one step at a time. Slow but sure wins the race. Find that 
chance to wrap up the day at the I don't know what canyon, it's called Canyon, canyon Inn the restaurant, restaurant. There, the inn. Um, mm -hmm. highly recommend the fried biscuits with apple butter so, so good. good so good I don't know if they always have those but that was one of like the appetizer specials that they had today yeah. and it was amazing Jack commented that this has been his, one of his favorite second favorite camping second trip. favorite camping trip so huge 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 state park Yes. I mean, when you're driving in at nine o'clock at night, it was kind of creepy it was driving a bit in creepy. last night. It like was dark, windy, dark, no lights to get to the campground, trees. and the campground's like a mile back into the into the park. Yeah. We'll hang out around the campfire tonight. Yeah. Tomorrow, if we have time, uh, we will have time. We want to drive down the road to Cataract Falls and check that out as well. We want to see what the actual park has to offer. Check out the waterfall again. Mm -hmm. But we do have to be back home uh, by two for, for Katie's soccer game. So we'll just see how tomorrow plays out. But mm -hmm. if we make it fantastic, if not, this was still a huge success and we yes. got a ton done in one day. It was a great trip. JKLM Adventures. Don't get lost out there. Go get lost out there. Go get like go get lost out there. Oh, I'll do it. Here. No, I want to do it. Thank you for hanging out with JKLM Adventures. Go get lost out there.